Today, lads, we are going to be ranking every single formation in FC24. Let's get into it. Does your team look like this? Who struggle to open the best store pack and play with the best players in FC24? If you said yes, then you need to head over to MMOEXP and grab yourself some cheap and reliable FC24 coins and use code ALP at checkout for an extra 5% off. Jeez! So starting off with the 3412, lads, it's, again, I've been using a lot of three backs recently. Um, I wouldn't say this is the best nor the worst three back. Um, it plays very similar to the 352, but you don't have the two CDMs. So I'm not, if I were going to play this sort of setup, I would use the 352. So I'm going to drop this into A tier. It is good. Nonetheless, it is good. But I just think there's better alternatives for this, for this formation. Um, the second formation is the 3142. I've tried it. I set up some tactics for it to try and make a video for it. I wasn't a massive fan. I've not really refined them to the point that I'd be willing to give them to you guys in a minute, but they will come eventually. But at the minute, they're going to go into B tier. They're not the most crazy. And I like to give you guys the best possible formations you can have. Um, the next one is the 3, 4, 2, 1 S tier for me, lads. It is S tier. Let's zoom out a touch because... Um, we're starting to expand every area now. Yeah, the 3 4 2 1, the best three back there is, I think. The 3 5 2 is close, but this, the way it plays, it kind of, you've got the setup at the front three, the kind of like the 4 3 2 1. We got the two center forwards and the striker. Amazing setup, and it gives you the defensive solidity of a 5 slash 3 back. So it is S tier, in my opinion. 3 4 3, again, and I don't like it at all. It's just, it's just not for me, lads. It is just not for me. And we're zooming out again because these tactics do take up quite a bit of space. 352, A plus tier. I to and fro, I have both of these set up for the most part. Or if I've got one three back set up, I'll alternate. I like this because you've got the cam, the links are played together. Um but if I had to choose between the two, it'd be the 342 one for sure. Uh, but they're both very nice. I like the fact you get the two CDMs, you can set on cut passing lanes for this. So defensively strong. I would say actually. Attacking wise, 3 4 2 1. Defensively, 3 5 2 is better. So I prefer more attacking formation, so this suits me better. But if you prefer a more defensive formation, I definitely recommend you go with the 3 5 2. You won't be disappointed. The 4 1 2 1 2 narrow, post patch, it's either A plus tier. I would say A plus. Um, it's super meta. Uh, uh, we're not going to do A plus, we're going to do A tier because I prefer a different formation, the setup similar that I would put into the A plus tier. But a brilliant formation and it kind of plays like the way it was two years ago post patch um but it's not something that i go to i would rather go with a four three one two rather than a four one two one two narrow just because i feel like the, the midfield works a bit better because it's a flat but uh for a uh, three midfield you don't have the cdm so you feel like you've got more bodies and there's no one dropping too deep so i prefer that the four one two and two wide I don't like it at all. Four one, it's, we're putting to B tier because the the way it kind of works is relatively meta. But I'm not a massive fan. Remember, lads, though, this is all on my opinion, my experience. So if you disagree with any of these, let me know in the comments down below what you would move up, what you, what you would move down. I'd love, I'd love to hear. Just like, let's get a discussion going in the comments. Um, the four one three two, one of the newer formations, and I do like it. I do like it. I would say it's in a <laughs> I'd say put it on the same tier as these guys. Um, again, you've got a defensive solidity with the CDM. Um, but again, I'm not a massive fan of the left mid and the right mid. I would say it's a better version of the 4-1-2-1-2, the wide variation, if I'm honest. Um, the 4-1-4-1, I love it. I love this formation. You've got, you pack the midfield out with five bodies, as well as you have the left mid, left mid and right mid cut inside. So you've got the three attackers. Brilliant formation. Definitely recommend you give it a go. All the tactics as well that we're talking about here will probably be on the channel. So if you just search the channel, you will find them. The 4312, a new addition to this game. And oh, the 4213, sorry. A new addition to this game. And it is insane. I would say it's higher up than the 4141 because it, it's kind of like a 4231 meets a 4334. It's brilliant. You, you've got the two CDMs which hold down that midfield, you've got the attackers which are really high. Um, and then you've got um, that cam that holds it all together. And to be honest, the only gripe I have with this is that sometimes the wingers 
can feel a little bit far away from the center mids and the four backs but that's the only gripe i have with this formation it's brilliant four triple two you don't need me to speak about it too much i prefer the three four two one over this in terms of meta um but you know what it is lads this formation is ridiculous a lot of people still use it and i definitely recommend if you've not give it a go there's tactics on the channel there'll be new ones soon insane formation four two three one s tier i would say i'm gonna try and limit how many we put into s tier i'd say five tops um but this formation has to go in there one of the best one of, an, an old school classic the 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 four two three one got the three cams you've got that striker and the cams play like wingers the y cam so it's an insane formation and i i i would probably put it over the four triple two to be honest it's i think it's got a bit more balance especially because you've got that center cam he kind of it, it makes it a bit it gives you a bit more of a different dynamic whereas you can go wide you can go through the middle whereas the four triple two i find a lot of the time you have to go up like start wide then come inside both brilliant formations though the four two three one two the second variation awesome formation i love it the way it goes flat across the midfield insane i would probably uh, do you know what it's insane but i'm gonna put it at the top of a tier i and lads if i put something in a tier or a plus tier this doesn't mean they're rubbish it just means they're not the super super meta formations these i say most formations are usable there are a few that i'll put in c tier that which you do kind of put yourself at a disadvantage if you use them but i say anything above a b tier you could probably get away with but i'd be looking at the formations in the a a plus and uh, obviously the s tier four through four i really want to put it into s tier because i love this formation we're gonna put it at the top of a plus for now the best press information in the game if you're not seeing the video it's on the channel ads insane formation the way it marries up against people's back lines if they're playing a fullback is insane give it a go four three one two the formation we were talking about earlier that i would choose over the four one two one two narrow um i'm gonna put this into a plus tier but at the bottom end of it it's definitely better than the four one two one two narrow and that's just could be my personal preference but i prefer the flat midfield rather than having that cdm drop off and that's the only difference for me you can put good instructions on the cdm but i prefer this way the way this sets out because it's similar to the the four three two one in terms of the midfield which is nice and speaking of the four three two one the best formation in the game lads i strongly agree that this is the best formation in the game and if you're not using it you definitely put yourself at some sort of disadvantage i definitely recommend even if you don't want to use this super meta formation all the time just having it set up can just win you the odd game if you want to change into it i try and if i'm in really sweaty games i go into this for the sweaty passing plays but for the most part i'm trying to use all these formations just to so I can give you guys good tactics. The 4-3-3-2. Now we're going to get into some 4-3-3s now. Now these are tough because I love the 4-3-3. But right, we're going to quickly bang them all in and then we'll talk about it. So 4-3-3-2. I'm going to say that is A tier. 4-3-3-3 is B tier. I'm not a massive fan of the two CDMs. 4-3-3-4 is S tier for me. 4-3-3-5 is A plus tier. And 4-3-3 flat. I'm going to say at the bottom end of A tier. The 4334, in my opinion, is the best balance in terms of a 433. Insane. The way you can have that mid, those wingers come back and defend a 442 for you. It's nuts. And it's one of the most popular videos on my channel. And I love this formation. And it's something that I always have in my rotation. Um, the false nine is a close second. I love that center forward because it kind of pulls center backs out. And it's, it's just different to other formations in the game. And it's insane. Um, so definitely recommend you give that one a go. I got new 433 false nine tactics coming soon, so check them out. Um, the 4332 is really good. I think it's just quite generic. You've got the CDM. You can make it defend in a either with a compact five midfield, or you can have it in the 442, like a lot of people say. And it's insane. It's I'm saying insane a lot, lads. Um, and it's driving me insane. Uh the 433 flat. Again, it's it's good. And to be honest, all the 433s, in my opinion, this year are very, very viable. So if you enjoy the 4332, the only difference between the, the reason why I put this in B tier is because I got the two CDMs and then a centre mid. It's a bit negative, whereas I want to play really expansive football. So the, all these other 433s got attacking elements to them, whereas I find the 4333 doesn't really have too much emphasis on attack. I think that's why I love the four, the four and the five quite a lot. The four one four one uh, the four four one one variations. Now, there is one with the cam, which I believe 
it is the basic version that is a plus tier and i'm gonna put it above i'm gonna put it there brilliant formation lads it's honestly insane it's like a 442 you've got the cam that links the striker so with a 442 sometimes your your strikers can get a bit lost um because they cut off you've got the cam in this one so it kind of helps out and then the 4411 to be honest the only difference between these two i would say is the instructions you can put either on that center forward or the cam i prefer the cam instructions and that is the only difference in between these formations is that that center piece is going to either be a center forward or a cam and i think the cam instructions are nicer than a center forward for a player that's going to sit in behind your striker if you like the one with the center forward though and you want to put get in behind stay central or whatever then that's brilliant but the cam you've got again to the box crosses you've got a bit more versatility in there which the reason why it's pushed up to the a plus tier 442 second variation it's good it's a bit negative I and mean, if i was going to play this um like with two cdms i would probably play uh the the four the four two four instead of this um, i'm gonna put it into a tier though it's not as good as the four three three flat though um because it's set up in a four four two it's not going to be b tier because it's the four four two setup is insane it's just a bit negative for me uh, actually not the four two four instead of using a four four two second variation i would use a four two three one because you've got the two cdms and then you got the cams instead of the the two the left mid and the right mid and then you've got the single striker which the team flows a bit nicer whereas you've got this bit of a gap in midfield which if your person is good at clogging up the midfield they can cut up your strikers which is less than ideal the 442 a lot of people would have this in s tier and i would not blame you it's a br <sighs> do you know what i'm gonna put it in oh we'll push it for now we're gonna put it at the end of s tier because it is an absolute staple in lots of people for me if it feels a bit like a crime not to have this in s tier so we'll blob it in there for now at the end for me again it's so something i go back to now and again when i'm struggling or if i'm in a bit of a rut i go back to this formation to get it back to the basics and i don't think you can go wrong it's brilliant it just does it just does everything well it defends well it attacks well and a lot of the formations you see here other than the three the three back they're all set up in a way to defend in that 442 so in this one you've got the cams coming back you've got the cams coming back on that you've got the um, the one of the center forwards come back on that and then you've got the wingers coming back on there so they all aim to set up in the way the 442 defends it's just the way these ones attack i prefer it the 451 flat is good because you've got five in midfield there's a lot in the a tier so i i don't really find a lot of these formations unusable i because you can make them work but there are some that do put you at a disadvantage this version of the four 5-1 though is nice because it's flat and you can control the midfield and um, the other version which is this i hate it i honestly hate it like if you use it leave it in the comments and i'll try and make you some tactics for it um but the midfield too feels too exposed they kind of just push on too much and it you just, I just find you leave yourself open a lot so if you've got some 4-5-1 tactics that you like leave them in the comments and i'll try them out and i'll get a video out and give you a shout out if if, if we enjoy them five backs we're just gonna lob all these in at once five so i'm gonna say for this year the five two one two is probably the best and um, we're not gonna put any in s tier because we ain't we ain't rats lads we ain't lads rats but the a plus tier for that four five two one two i'm gonna put the the five two three i hate it's just so disjointed it just feels very defensive um the five three two i would say is a tier but put at the end and the five four one previously s tier formation um we're gonna put this this is gonna be the highest rated five back in the game just because of how op it is and we're not putting it above the three five two because the three five two is the goat um uh, we're gonna move that there like that and then move that like that because i love the five uh the um the four four one one so the five backs lads i'm not really one to use them this year a lot if i have had to use them in like a draft or if i've uh, been doing challenges with boys then uh then i would yeah have the full backs go forwards just so it's a bit more attacking but they play so negative for me and that's why you've not seen many five backs on this channel this year if you are using five back and you want to see five backs lads and you are that inclined don't be embarrassed put in the comments down below and if i see some comments that you want to see some five backs i'll make them i think 
bit over they're just a bit too defensive for the way i want to play so i don't really enjoy using the five axe last year the 541 was outrageously good um i might make some 541 tactics lads next week let leave it with me i'll figure out if i can get it to play fun and have those four matches bombing on all the time then we'll go with it but if we can't then we won't um but leave in the comments lads that is the final tier list what your thoughts are what you would move up what you would move down and i will catch you in another one Cheese!